perfect. Welcome to Tips for Gamers, and today we're going to be talking about Notre Dame's 2023 recruiting class. They're number one right now. They're doing great. And uh, if you guys like this kind of content, leave us a like, comment down below. We're going to do multiple schools, not just Notre Dame. And uh, Notre Dame's clearly number one right now. They just stole it away from Ohio State. Ohio State was number one. Uh, they ended up getting higher than Notre Dame, and now Notre Dame got higher than Ohio State, and it's it's going to continue to shift. But they have Marcus Freeman as their head coach now. They lost their head coach last year to LSU. And this is another reason why we think Notre Dame's going to end up joining the Big Ten because they have too much money. They're going to they'll be able to compete with the SEC with keeping their coaches. You shouldn't be losing your coach the SEC or even the Big 10 if you're Notre Dame. You shouldn't. There's very few schools that should be able to take your your head coach from you and it may be USC or Ohio State or Alabama or Georgia. Sides from that, there's really no one uh, that you should be losing your head coach to because of money. And this head coach was an Ohio State football player, which is really hilarious. He, I think he was a linebacker, uh, if my memory serves me correct. Uh, but that's why we think they're going to join the Big Ten, because you should not be losing out. You're beating LSU like every year in recruiting. Why would you want to leave a school, uh, a team that's better than the one you're going to? You know, And people will say, well, it's because he made that team so good. Well, Marcus Freeman doesn't seem to be struggling here. Uh, so he's doing pretty good. They're number one. And yeah, they got Keon Keeley, really good guy out of Tampa, Florida here. Really good guy. This guy's a beast. And what you're seeing here is you're seeing a bunch of other states. So they're recruiting across the country, literally across the country. And uh, they're recruiting in safeties, outside um, uh, linemen, linebackers, cornerbacks. You know, they're doing decent wide receivers. You know, there's no real area where you can look at here in this recruiting class and say they're failing. You, you really can't. Even the three stars down here, these guys are likely they're better than three stars. Uh, they're just, you know, maybe the school that they're playing in. But Ohio, or, uh, they also stole, by the way, this guy from Ohio State, Brandon Vernon. That's to tell you how good they're doing right now. Stealing a guy from Ohio State in Ohio State's backyard is virtually impossible. And they ended up pulling this guy. Now, to their defense, Ohio State's defense, they, they've been getting so many good D linemen. That th this really was like, yeah, it sucked for them. It, it seemed like an easy grab, and it wasn't. A Notre Dame said, we're going to steal a guy from you. And it's huge that Notre Dame did that. You know, Ohio State has a lot of depth at D linemen. We're going to have an Ohio State video uh, coming out. Their D linemen class of last year was insane. So this guy has so much more competition going to Ohio State than he does Notre Dame, and that's just being realistic. So, you know, it's huge move, very huge move, but it's also like, hey, it's a kind of a smart move, actually, if you're looking at this kid. If you're an Ohio State fan, yeah, it's sad, but I, you got to kind of be happier for this kid. Of like, you're going to go out and, and actually have a better chance to shine um, at Notre Dame right now than you will – at uh, Ohio State. I mean, you just are. And they're really attacking the defensive line, which is huge. They are, they, I mean, they are just looking fantastic. Their offensive lineman, huge. This guy's 6'7, 304 pounds. And Notre Dame's not done. Marcus Freeman, he's going to be a sought after coach. And if Notre Dame does not join the Big Ten, he's gone. This dude's going to get a huge contract from the SEC or one of the guys in the Big Ten, and they're going to steal him. As sad as that is, they're going to steal this guy away, and I'd hate to see that to Notre Dame because Notre Dame is just doing so fantastic in so many different ways and have for so long that you kind of want to see Notre Dame just get to that next level. Why is Notre Dame not fighting for a national championship? Why are they not? Because they haven't been. They just haven't been. They get close. They don't go to the playoffs, and, and even when they do go to the playoffs, they get destroyed, and it's like, well, how are you with this team? I mean, this team is just so insane that you're – you're missing out on the next piece of just pure domination, and, and that's money. Money is stopping you. So go get the money. Anyways, uh, this is a recruit for them. They're, they're clearly number one right now, and it doesn't look like they're stopping anytime soon. I'm in a hurt song. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes.